This episode's gonna suck. Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today we're exploring the 35th episode of the show Power Rangers Turbo, as well as the 240th episode overall titled Spirit of the Woods. We begin this episode in the forest where we see a babbling brook and a lot of flowers and whatnot. A car full of extras come up, completely dubbed over by people who already worked at Saban so they didn't have to pay anyone to say anything on screen that day. These douchebags are tossing the trash out into the forest and by the way, they're not even on the freaking road. A little boy is nearby watching them. Then their CD player stops working and this little boy looks up, causing a windstorm to happen and he spells go away out on their windshield. They drive away scared and the little boy is walking around and also like disappearing. At the youth center, Stone is making a protein shake for TJ. Apparently it's sunrise and TJ is exhausted. Apparently TJ said he was running six miles, but now he's only gonna be running two because he's tired. He chugs the shake and starts jogging. That's how you throw up. Meanwhile, Bulk and Skull are now newspaper delivery boys. Yep. TJ runs by and he talks about how he's the only one crazy enough to be up at this hour. Dude, it's like 11 a.m. Also, a water jug delivery was made and Divatox's periscope is inside of it, apparently. On the space base, she talks about how the Red Ranger is all by his lonesome. So she walks over to this little Chinese takeout box of a monster and his name is Lord Litter. They really need to cool it with these two word names. Divatox tells him not to mess this up. TJ is running through the forest and he finds a piece of trash in the bush and he takes it and crumbles it, putting it in his pocket. He then gets scared because that boy shows up and his name is Erutan. TJ doesn't react to how stupid that name is. This conversation between the two is weird about how he knows what TJ was doing even though it was obvious. Then he just disappears when TJ looks away. Then TJ's communicator goes off and Alpha tells him that there's an energy reading nearby that he should check out. TJ finds more trash but this time he ignores it because screw you nature. Then this piece of trash literally follows him. Must be his conscience. Then the trash turns into Lord Litter, and the wind picks up, throwing newspaper trash at TJ, knocking him down. Erutan is watching, and TJ shifts into turbo. TJ fights Lord Litter, and he gets fired back at after he talks some smack. TJ is trying to tell him to stop littering, and this fight is boring because it involves just a lot of trash going onto the Red Ranger while Erutan watches. Erutan then runs out, yelling, go away, and he holds his hand out, causing more wind to break TJ free, and also send Lord Litter flying away. He then is just gone, and TJ is confused. Again, dude, like, read the episode title. TJ demorphs and the other rangers show up and TJ explains how he wasn't alone because Erutan was there. And Justin seems offended that TJ was actually talking to another boy. He's cheating. In space, Lord Litter explains how he got beat by a little boy in the Red Ranger and Divatox is pissed, so he tells him to bring her the boy. She wants to control all the elements that she can. At school in the study area, Cassie and TJ are hanging out and TJ keeps tapping his pencil before he writes out Erutan. But he's like, being very weird with it and he figures out that it's nature backwards through the most convoluted way ever. Then he looks out the window and sees Erutan just standing there staring. This episode sucks so bad. He jumps up leaving and Cassie's super confused. TJ leaves walking through the quad and Erutan's running away. This doesn't look great from the outside from TJ running after a little boy. They meet up again on the beach and TJ thanks Erutan for the help and Erutan just says that the woods thank him for helping them and TJ doesn't react to this at all. Then Erutan's freaking Jesus walking on water and TJ finally figures out that he's the spirit of the woods. Then Elgar and Lord Litter show up and they almost fight, but they decide they have other things to do because they have to get the boy, so they just leave. In the power chamber, TJ finally updates Alpha and Demetra about what's going on with this little boy, and Alpha has completed a scan. They can't find Erutan at all, so TJ is going to go find him. Alpha tells him to wait until morning. The next day, at a prompt noon, Bulk and Skull are delivering newspapers again. Apparently they're doing a good job for once in their miserable lives, so Bulk wants to go faster, and they go by TJ, who was running again. He ends up back in those godforsaken woods and he's yelling for Erutan. He finds him and he warns Erutan that he's going to be kidnapped. And Erutan's very nonchalant about it all, saying that they want to capture him, but they also want TJ, so why would he leave if TJ won't? Then Elgar comes out yelling, now, and TJ yells, it's a trap! But then Erutan is in a rope thing. I feel like he could just teleport out of there like he did all the time before. Shift into turbo. TJ fights off the Perontrons and TJ calls for backup. So here comes the other morphed rangers fighting off the Perontrons. Cassie then shoots down Erutan, which is hilarious. She has no concept of safety for a child. Then the others see TJ talking to no one at all. Mysterious. Erutan hides behind a tree and Lord Litter starts firing lasers at them. Then Lord Litter puts trash cans around everyone. This is terrible. They're somehow stuck beyond movement. Then Erutan uses the power of electricity, screaming, and he causes lightning to strike Lord Litter, who seizes on the ground. Terrible. Elgar leaves in fear. The rangers get free magically, and they call out the turbine laser, firing at Lord Litter, hitting him down. No explosion, though. Divatox fires the torpedoes, making him giant. TJ says, Erutan needs my help, so he tells the others to do it without him, and he walks over to no one. They say screw it, and the other four call out their rescue zords while TJ runs away with this little boy. The others get in their rescue zords, going into high stance mode, using alternately power right away individually, blowing up Lord Litter. 
That was a waste of everything. The others land on the ground demorphing. They find TJ who is watching a fading Aerutan and TJ asks if he's okay. And he says that as long as people like TJ protect the woods, Aerutan will be just fine. Says the boy who is fading away into nothing. The others watch as TJ speaks to nothing, I guess. Now Bulk and Skull are delivering newspaper like Mad Men the next morning and Bulk keeps calling for them to go faster. But then he gets stopped by a man who screams that they're fired. They make their case that they're actually amazing at their jobs, so screw you. And the boss yells that they suck because they have yet to charge anyone for a newspaper. I feel like that's something that's not done by delivery boys at all. It makes no sense. TJ then runs by and he goes to the forest and he's startled by Arutan running by. But then he turns around and it's a deer? Whatever, the end. This episode's terrible. The very concept of Arutan is not one that works for Power Rangers and it shows. It's like real rough. Also the monster battles were all terrible and really this episode feels like a first half episode of Turbo. Like I could see Tommy chasing a nature boy around very easily. TJ not so much. I like the idea of the message of this episode, but overall the execution sucks. Next time you'll have a song stuck in your head for at least a week. But until then, may the power protect you.